Hmm. Dear Netflix, you suck. No, 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 it's, nah, it's not, that's, that's not good, no. Dear Bastards. No, 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 it's coming off too harsh now. Dear Scum Sucking Assholes. No, 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 I gotta be professional here. <sighs> to the morons at Netflix. No. And basically put it this way, Netflix. You done fucked it up. Hi everybody and welcome to Andrew Rants, a video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about things that annoy me, bother me, and just plain piss me straight the goddamn hell off and Netflix, what the fuck have you done? No, no, I usually just stand behind my microphone and I just have a blank screen up here with my logo of my video. But this time, I want you to see the anger in my eyes. I want you to see the person that you've pissed the hell off this time because I'm one of many. What did you do to Cowboy Bebop? No, 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 no. You just shut up and listen. You fucked it up. What was that horse shit that you released? That opening trailer of that crap? Cowboy Bebop was a classic. A classic! And you've basically burned it to cinders. Oh, we're doing an expansion of the canon! You're, you're doing an expansion? What the fuck does that even mean, Netflix? You're doing an expansion of the canon. Oh, look. Here, let me expand my horizons and go, who cares? Oh, you're doing an expansion of the canon. Oh, oh, so it's not a shot for shot remake. Oh, oh, well then let me forgive you, Netflix. Well, let, let me forgive you. But then you come up with that horse shit of an opening. That looks like somebody went and used the Dollar Tree discount section of the Halloween part. It looks like you went to Party City on November, on November 1st. And you're like... Hey, we need to get this, 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 this. Hey, look, we need Vicious. Oh, yeah, we need this, this, this. Uh, we got Spike, this, 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 Jet, this, this, Faye, this, this. All right, what's the come out to? Oh, well, it's all discounted, about 50% off, uh, 27 bucks. Hey, all right, we're under a $30 budget. Yay! How could you do this, Netflix? How could you do this? This is what happens when you fuck up. Say hello to Scrooville. You ruined Cowboy Bebop. The opening. That opening. How? How? You had the person that wrote the fucking opening. It's the same music. You dragged their ass into this. And this is what you bring. You have made me envy the deaf and the blind. And you're expanding upon the canon. What the fuck does that even mean? You're expanding upon the canon. What part of the canon needed to be expanded, Netflix? What part of it needed to be expanded? What? What, what does Spike live at the end of it? Oh, no, 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 no. That'd be too easy because that would be a continuation of the story. You're expanding the canon. It's not a continuation of the story. You're expanding the canon. <coughs> you're expanding my patience beyond pressing you off. This is an annoyance that goes far beyond everything you have ever held dear. And you have the balls to up and tell people, Oh, this is going to be great. It's an expansion of the canon. It's going to be wonderful. Everyone's going to love it. Do I look like I love it, Netflix? Do I look like I'm in love with it? Do I look like I'm happy with this shit? No, I'm not happy. That opening, that that opening. I literally had to watch them both. Then found out that there are some YouTubers out there. And thank you, by the way, for those of you out there that have put this up in a side-by-side -side comparison, so I can see how badly they have butchered this. 
It is a cult classic. A cult classic. This will be like me changing history. You know what? I got it. I got it. I'm going to pull a Netflix. I am going to announce today that I am going to repaint the Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci's famous painting. I am going to repaint it. I'm going to put her in a bikini. Hey, I'm just expanding upon it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just going to put her in a bikini. It's going to be the same picture. She's going to be in a bikini. That's what it's going to be. No, 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 no. I can do one better. I'm going to make the Mona Lisa nude. There you go. Because I'm expanding upon the canon. I am not doing that. I'm not. It's not a continuation. I'm expanding upon the canon. We want to know what's underneath those clothes. So now we're going to find out. Why, Netflix? Why would you do this? This is what happens when you have too big of an ego and it's been left unfucking checked for too goddamn long. Say hello to what's left of your franchise because when this is done, I hope you no longer get to touch anime. And you're coming out with what else? Oh, that's right. You're doing your name, One Piece, and Akira. How fucking dare you Try to drag those good names into the ground like you've butchered this one. It's an expansion of the canon. I don't want to fucking hear it's an expansion of the canon. I don't care. You are butchering this. I, I pity John Cho. I pity all the people in this show. All you're doing, this is got blight on their otherwise spotless records. And you've just basically screwed them to the wall. Because you've decided in your infinite wisdom... We want to make this. Who the fuck asked for this? Who asked you out there to make a live action Cowboy Bebop? I sure as fuck did. Nobody fucking did. Because Cowboy Bebop is a cult classic for a reason. We're going to expand the canon. We're going to expand the canon. It's not a shot for shot or beat for beat remake. I went into this on my podcast, but this is horse crap. This is pure grade 8 horse shit. And that happy horse shit opening that you pulled out of your ass is pathetic. That showed nothing that made me want to watch this. That made me repelled. I felt sick to my stomach after watching that. I had to cleanse my palate by actually watching the actual opening to Cowboy Bebop and getting a bit of PTSD relief because that was garbage that you pulled out. The only thing, the uh, let me say this, there's only one good thing in that trailer, uh, sorry, in that opening, other than the ending, other than it ending, there's only one good thing, and I was seeing the swordfish, because guess what, that's a generic ship that you can put in any science fiction movie or show. You have done an unholiest of things. You have sinned. The blasphemy that you have done here. Unceremoniously, you have butchered Cowboy Bebop. You have brought it to its knees. And you're laughing about it. You think this is the best idea in your life. This is goddamn horse garbage and you fucking know it. But of course, no, 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 it's Netflix. We do no wrong. We're going to touch One Piece. You're going to kill One Piece. We're going to touch Akira. How dare you? We're going to have your name. I hope Makoto Shinkai sues your ass. If, if he's involved in that in any way, shape, or form, he's lost any credibility with me. He should distance himself from you. He should look at he should look at what the fans are saying about this live action cowboy bebop. Look right at you and go, hey, remember what I said you could make my movie into a show? Give it back. You, you, yo, no, you're not touching my baby. No, 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 no. This is one of those that every single one of those shows, every single thing that Netflix is touching that's anime or Japanese related, should look at it and go, I need an adult. Like the Pokemon thing that I said. They want to make that a live action franchise. They want to make a live action Pokemon. Why? Why? And we're having Cowboy Bebop. At this point, I think Spike Spiegel should just do a spin kick upside Netflix's head. This is puff-fucking-thetic and you fucking know it. But you're doing this anyway. Why? Why, Netflix? Why would you do this to people? Because you had nothing better to do. Because you are pathetic at this point. You are a waste of time and effort. You are literally taking stupidity to a brand new level. I thought Nickelodeon was low. 
when they would just cancel shows and shove them over onto the Nicktoons Network to die. I thought Cartoon Network was pathetic when they started coming back out with their live action bullshit and splitting up their stuff to copy Nickelodeon and Disney. I thought that was pathetic. You have set the bar to a whole new level of low, and I am impressed by that. Because you have managed to do what nobody else can do. You have managed to piss off the fans. Way to go. Way to go. And there are some people that are looking forward to this. How can you be looking forward to this? This looks like crap. For starters, you have Spike Spiegel, Jet Black, and Faye Valentine. That's it. Where's Ed? Where's Edward? She was an integral part of the Bebop crew! Where the fuck is she? Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Netflix should not be anywhere near children. I, I forgive them for not having her. I forgive them. They should not be anywhere near children. And that goddamn cuties thing you pulled! You should not be near children. You should not be near anything that has... Anything that's loved by children or adults at this point. You have managed to do the unthinkable, and you have pissed off generations to come. They're gonna look. At, they're gonna look up the Cowboy Bebop opening, and they're gonna see your train wreck. They're gonna see your dumpster fire. You're gonna be shoveling money on top of. And guess what? They're gonna look at that. And they're gonna go, "That's Cowboy Bebop. That's what Cowboy Bebop is." You have ruined a cult classic. Congratulations. Congratulations, you've ruined a cold classic. So that's why I'm going to announce today, I'm going to repaint the Mona Lisa nude. There you go. Or in a bikini. I don't know which yet. I'm going to repaint the Sistine Chapel. I'm going to put me holding a slice of pizza. That's what I'm, I, I'm going to... Yeah, if Netflix can destroy classics, I should be able to destroy classics. I am going to repaint the Sistine Chapel, and it's going to be me holding a slice of pizza and a Dr. Pepper. I am going to repaint the Mona Lisa, and I'm going to put her in nude or in a bikini. I am going to basically change all of art as we know it, because I am going to kill cult classics. Because Netflix can, so can I. Netflix has a green card to do it, so can I. Why, why can't I destroy classics? Netflix sure as hell can. Can I know, I know what I should do? I should re-record uh, Gone with the Wind. I should redo The Wizard of Oz. I should redo every single cult classic movie, every single cult classic show, and just butcher the hell out of them. I, I got it. I'll redo Cagney and Lacey. I'll redo The Rockford Files. I'll redo every single television show ever known to mankind. Just to purposely butcher the hell out of them. Then when they come after me and go that I killed their fridges, I'm going to look at them and go, no, 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 no. I didn't do it. I didn't kill it. Go blame Netflix. Because they were the ones that killed the cult classic anime and opened up the goddamn fucking floodgates. <coughs> you have the balls. To tell people that this is going to be good. You have the audacity to put that garbage out there. You had a panel, and this was what you showed. Cowboy Bebop's opening. For your live action abomination onto our eyes! You should be ashamed of every single thing you've done. And you're gonna butcher one piece. I, 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 I can't even. I, I can't believe that Oda would allow that. I, I can't believe that that would be allowed. You're gonna butcher one piece. You're gonna butcher one piece. You're gonna kill Akira. You're gonna murder Akira. Akira, for God, Akira is a cult classic, and you're about to butcher that. You have Makoto Shinkai's your name. I honestly hope he looks at you and goes, "Hey, hey you're not touching this." For those people out there that are that you're interested in this, this is the one time I'm gonna violate my one credo. I'm gonna scream why. You should not be into this is garbage. This is Netflix wanting to dry hump itself into oblivion. And you're going to okay this? You're gonna tell them, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be great. Did you ever see Cowboy Bebop? It's perfect already! The only question, the only question that anybody ever had at the end of Cowboy Bebop was, is Spike alive or dead? That's it. 
We never asked any questions in between because everything was wrapped the fuck up. We know Jets history. We know Faze history. We know Ed's history. We know Spike's history. The only question that we ever had as a fan is, is Spike alive or dead? That's it. No, Edward. Piss poor opening. Fucked up abomination. And you have the balls to put this out there. How dare you. How dare you. It's bad enough you're going to butcher Power Rangers. You, you and Hasbro both. You have the audacity to ruin Power Rangers. You have the audacity to piss upon the greatest anime series that ever existed, Cowboy Bebop. You have balls the size of church bells. I guess that I insulted Netflix. Yes, because they've insulted me as a fan of anime. You should not be allowed to touch anything that comes from the land of the rising sun. It is bad enough you had that cuties abomination. That was literal child porn. I don't care what they say. I saw the trailer for it, okay? It made me sick to my stomach. And I avoid talking about that. You have that. So I can understand now why Edward's not in this. You shouldn't be near children. But on top of that, you should not be anywhere near anime. You're the type of person that you always saw in the video store, or the FYE, or the Suncoast, that's always hovering around the anime section, trying to go, gee, I wonder who's going to come today to pick up this copy of Hamtaro. <laughs> and then just like that, here comes a couple little kids, their parents see you over there in the corner, and they pull them aside. Yeah, that's you, Netflix. That's you! Oh my god, you've... <laughs> I am appalled by this, by what you have done. You have managed to destroy what was otherwise a beautiful series. I am so glad that the people that voiced those characters have gone on to do better things. I mean, hell, Steve Bloom does Tom now on Toonami. I am so happy that they have gone on to do better things. Because you're going to kill their you are going to kill their legacy. Congratulations. You have managed to do it. I hope you're proud of yourselves. I hope that you sit upon that throne of hollow money. I hope that you get a paper cut. I really do. I hope you get sick off of all that money that you squandered from these people. For this crap. If I were the actors in this, I'd cash your checks fast. Because Netflix is going to go down after this. I can guarantee it. This is going to be a dumpster fire. It's going to be D-O-A on arrival. Dead. It's going to be dead on arrival. And you're going to be looking at this like, Ooh, I should not have done this. I shouldn't have done this show. Oh my god. I, wow. Oh. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. No, no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad because now you're attached to it. It's forever going to be in your IMDb file. Oh, you were part of that Cowboy Bebop abomination on Netflix. Yeah, no, no, we don't want you for this project. Yeah, no, no, no. See, that, we would have distanced ourselves from that, so you're out. Yeah. You not only hurt the series as a whole, the original series, the classic. Now you basically possibly screwed over the actors. Because if they can survive this, it'll be a miracle. You have managed to do it. You have managed to destroy a cult classic. Congratulations. What are you going to do next? A live-action Dragon Ball Z series? I mean, Dragon Ball Evolution already beat you to the punch for trying to kill it. Oh, well, you're just going to finish it off now? Oh, wait, no, no, that's right. You got One Piece, Akira, and your name. That's what you have next. Oh, and you want to do a live-action Pokemon series, too, so that's four. Anything else? Am I missing anything else? Uh, am I missing anything else, Netflix? Anything? No, I didn't think so. Oh, so, uh, Netflix is fucked over Power Rangers, Netflix is gonna fuck over anime, and Netflix is just fucking everything. So, in other words, if you want to go work for Netflix, you have an adaptation that you want Netflix to make a live-action version of, if I were you, I would bring the lube and the screwdriver, because Netflix already has plenty of those, but if you bring your own, you at least know it'll fit. Anyway, I'm Andrew Rhodes, and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I know this video got a little, uh, <clears throat> questionable, but I'm pissed! I have a right to be pissed! I'm a fan of Cal
Cowboy Bebop. I loved Cowboy Bebop. What are you going to do? Butcher Trigun next? Oh, God. You're going to Butcher Trigun, aren't you? Oh, my God, they are. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I sense it. They're going to Butcher Trigun next. Trigun's going to be the next one. Oh, my God. No. 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 Do not Butcher. No. No. They're going to Butcher Vash's Stampede. They're, they're going to Butcher Trigun. No. God. They're, I can feel it. They're going to. I know it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to this live-action abomination onto the eyes that is Cowboy Bebop? Or do you actually hope that this will be somewhat better than what it's hoping to be? I personally think it's going to be a dumpster fire if it does arrive on time. And, well, hell, it's going to arrive anyway. But it's going to be a dumpster fire if not dead on arrival. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below, as always. And until next time... I'm Andrew Rose. This is Andrew Rance, and I really need some therapy. I need to go find a puppy or a kitten to hug. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Web Designer 18 YouTube channel. Because I'm Andrew, and I'm the one that made the video you just watched. Come on, hit the subscribe button. See more fun stuff from me! I'm cool! I'm hip! I think.